Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a Valentine's grunge look in collaboration with SSCC Beauty. To start off I am just concealing the upper of my eyelids because this is where the colour will be going. I'm now adding Kryolan gel liner, cream liner sorry, to my eyelids in the outer V and the inner corner and just winging it out a little bit. I'm also going through my crease slightly and blending it with my finger. Just doing this the same for the other eye as well and making sure it matches and trying to keep most of the pigment on the inner and outer corners of the eye. Just going under the eye just to smoke it out a little bit more because this is a grunge kind of look. And now with the same cream liner I'm going on my waterline with the back end of a brush as the bristles tickle your eyeball. So this is the best way I've found to apply it. Just doing the top of the waterline as well just to really darken the look. Going in with a pinky kind of orangey peachy colour to blend out the black. Pretty sure this was out of one of my MAC palettes. I'm not too sure on the colour, but I'll link list it in the description. Now going in with the cranberry kind of shade on the crease and the outer V. Just adding a black MAC shadow to where I already put the black just to darken it up a little bit more. I'm using one of my flat gess up brushes because it really puts the pigment on really well. So just putting it on the inner corner as well. And again with that cranberry colour to kind of really richen it that little bit more. As always, a little bit of black eyeshadow under the eye. Just adding a dab of concealer on the middle part of my eyelid as this is where I'm going to sort of do a little bit of a halo eye. Just applying a really creamy shimmery colour to my lid. Now I'm going to blend the edges with a little bit of black and more of that cranberry colour. I actually use the Sports Girl palette, not sure of the name but I'll put it in the description again. And this sort of blended the colour. Now going in with my mascara and coating my lashes top and bottom. Pulling a bit of a weird face. Now going in with the gel liner and lining the top of my eyelid. I don't wing it out too much as it's more of a grungy look than a glam look. Just doing a last little touch up on the lower waterline. And smoking it out a little bit more. 
applying the e.l.f. mineralizing primer to my face with my hands because I like to tap it in. Applying my foundation which is Revlon Color Stay and just applying it with a stippling brush and really buffing it into the skin. Next I'm going to conceal any of the little dots that I could see on my face because I have a lot of them at the moment. They are everywhere. That's why it's taking so long, I'm sorry. Just going in with some translucent powder and setting that all over my face. Now for the 90s brows because it is a grunge look and I don't think it would be complete without the really thin brows which really disgusts me because my brows are naturally thin and this just really emphasised how thin they were. Just adding a tiny little bit of contour, not too dark, just to add a little bit of dimension to the face. Highlighting with a matte powder as well in the high points of my face. Couldn't complete this look without some false lashes, so just applying some lash glue and the lashes to my eyelid. I like to pinch my falsies to my natural lashes so they adhere that little bit better. I'm now lining my lips with a what I thought was a dark red but turned out to be quite of a natural kind of tone. Could leave the lips here for more of a grungy look but it was a Valentine's Day inspired look so I added more of a red colour to my lips with a lip brush. Can't remember the name of the colour at the moment but I'll put all products in the description. I then went in with a second shade of lipstick because another trend in the 90s was to have a really defined outline of your lip. I didn't leave it that defined but it was just subtle, so more of an ombre lip. And this is my completed look. Make sure the beanie's in place properly. Ta-da! I did it. Oh my god. Scary. So here's some of the pictures from the final look. 
Um, yeah, I think it turned out all right. There's a little bit of zoom, zoom, zooming happening. And of course the silly pictures of me. And now for some serious ones. Again, bit emo, but oh well. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive notifications every time I upload. This was a collaboration with the SSCC Beauty group on Facebook and here are some of their other looks that they created. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!